What's up guys, it's Ace Sutter Theory, and today we have some more information about the new Pokemon Volcanion in Pokemon X and Y. Now, if you don't know what Volcanion is, it's a hidden Pokemon that has not been released yet officially. However, due to hacking, it has been revealed to be a Pokemon to eventually be released within the game. Uh, no one knows that much about it, you know, in terms of the moves that it learns and the stats and etc. But today I'm going to be explaining to you guys all that information and more about Volcanion. So be sure to pay attention to all this really cool information about this new excellent Pokemon. So, we have Volcanion. It has a really, really cool shiny form. I love the way it looks. It seems to be Pokemon 721, which seems to be the last one in the Pokedex that we know of so far. The Steam Pokemon, this is something that a lot of people were predicting earlier, so all of you who predicted that, kudos to you. Pretty good job. Uh, it's a really kind of short Pokemon with a 5'7". I mean, to me that's short because I'm taller than that, but yeah, that's it's okay height, I guess. And it weighs 429 pounds, which would be bad if something goes for like a grass knot or a low kick on it, because that is kind of hefty. But other than that, it, who uses those moves anyway, right? It is a fire and water type. Oh my goodness, that is a really, really good type. You have not seen that yet. Uh, that's a good type offensively, and it's somewhat a good type defensively too. So I can't wait to see how that's utilized also. Now, the ability. This is what everyone has been wondering about. Uh, they want to know how this thing is going to be functioning, especially with its ability. And the ability is, in fact, Water Absorb. That is great. That is fantastic. That means Hydro Pumps and Scalds and all that mess will just be rendered useless against Volcanion. So that's pretty cool. And now it has an immunity to something. And I think that's pretty fantastic. All right. So here are the type effectiveness. Okay. So you have a pretty cool amount of resistances here. You have resistances to fire, a quad re resistance to that, so that's that's great. That is really, really great, and I'll explain why a little bit later. It has a quad resistance to ice, that is also pretty good, because ice is a very common attacking type. Uh, bug, that's great, because things who go to U-turn, go for U-turn, won't be able to do that much to you. It has a resistance, quad resistance actually, to steel, so that's pretty awesome too and it has a resistance to the new fairy typing. So all in all, those are really, really good resistances and I love those and I can see those being utilized and a really good team that has good team support. Now, it is in fact weak to electric ground to rock also, which kind of sucks because those are really common types nowadays and the fact that it's weak to them really is kind of abysmal and it really kind of sucks for Volcanion. However, I'll explain to you guys a little bit later also as to why that's not really a huge problem for it. All right, so Volcanion cannot breed, of course, and Volcanion cannot evolve because it's an event Pokemon. All right, here is the Pokemon X, uh, sorry, the Pokedex entry for Pokemon X. It says it expels its eternal steam from its arms on its back. It has enough power to blow away a mountain. Okay, that's pretty powerful and I did not know those were, those were arms, so it seems to be a spider? <laughs> okay. Anyway, it says in Pokemon Y, it lets out bellows of steam and disappears into dense fog. Ooh. It's said to live in the mountains where humans do not shred. Okay, that's that's pretty it's pretty ominous, and I cannot wait to see that in a movie, because I know that's going to be amazing. So let's go ahead and look at the stats now before we get into the move, because I know that you can't really, you know, determine what moves that should learn if you don't know what the stats are. So let's go ahead and look at those stats. When I, I'm telling you right now, they're, they're pretty amazing. All right. We have 80 base HP, which is pretty great. It's not the highest, but it is pretty high, and I, and I like that. It has 100 base, 110 base attack. It has 120 base defense. Oh my goodness. It has 130 base special attack, 90 base special defense, and a low 70 base speed. These are stats that are extremely similar to the Pokemon Heatran. And all in all, Volcanion is actually really similar to Heatran in the fact that it has an ability that um, makes it immune to something, the fact that Steel is a really good defensive type and Water is also a great defensive type also. Uh, they have four legs, seem to be uh, low to the ground, pretty heavy. They have a lot of similarities to each other, to each other too, and they're both fire types. Uh, however, these stats, which, these stats are pretty good. I, I love these stats. Those are really good defenses. 80, 120, 90, those are really good defenses. And its offensive also are pretty good. Uh, 110 and 130. So that means you can go ahead and use a mixed attacking stat and easily be able to give it a brave or a quiet nature to do with low speed stats. So I don't see that being necessarily a problem for it because its defenses are pretty good and uh, its HP is okay. But, you know, with wish support or lead seed or something, you can easily be able to keep this thing alive or you can give it rest talk or something which I didn't even think about until right now and oh okay oh rest talk I didn't even think about that until right now anyway let's get into the moves let's, let's do that first 
<laughs> okay, before we get any ideas. All right, here are the level up moves. I'm going to be going through the most relevant ones. I'm not going to be going through things like tackle or uh, the string shot. No, none of that. That's not relevant right now. Anyway, we have haze. Haze is something that nowadays is a lot more prominent due to the prevalence of baton pass teams. And haze is something that I like to use on my team a lot. So I can see this being used as a hazer on my team because those defenses are just phenomenal. It learns Scald, which initially you think is okay, and it's, it's great because Scald has that burn chance, plus it has stabs. It learns Weather Ball. Now that's weird. I didn't even expect that one, but when I saw Weather Ball, I was like, okay, that is something I could possibly see being used in the sun or in the rain because this is one of those few Pokemon that can actually function in both, but it has better moves it can use, so Weather Ball won't be necessarily the most useful thing, so I can only be seeing it used for ice, uh, ice storms, like hail, or in sandstorm. Uh, other than that, it doesn't really seem like much that I could actually utilize here. Uh, it learns Hydra Pump and Flare Blitz, both both really powerful moves. Um, Flare Blitz, uh, ooh, goodness gracious. Uh, for those of you who have gotten Flare Blitz before, you know how powerful this move is, so uh, watch out for that one. Hydra Pump, of course, really powerful attack with okay accuracy, but really powerful. will be able to hit a lot of things pretty hard. Overheat, really, really powerful. Oh my gosh, with the choice specs. Oh my goodness gracious. Do a ton of damage to something. Learns Explosion, which is just fine. I mean, Explosion is not the best, but it's still pretty okay. Uh, and then it has the new move that we have not seen before and the move that everyone wants to know about, Steam Eruption. Steam Eruption is a 110 base special water move with 95% accuracy. Yes, yes, yes. That is fantastic. I am, yes, 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 yes. That is, that's great. I'm sorry, that, that is one of the best things ever. The fact that it has 95% accuracy and not much attack, you're not going to see that a lot. Anyway, it has 5 PP, which kind of sucks because that means you can't use it a lot. However, the secondary effect, oh my goodness. It says the user immerses the target in superheated steam. It also leaves the target with a burn, or it may. So that's a 30% chance of that happening. I cannot fathom how useful this move is going to be. I really, really hate the fact that it has such low PP, and it's just because that move is really good, but I, I love this. <laughs> like, this is going to be something I'm going to be utilizing, and this has made me love Volcanion even more than I did before. Anyway, let's get into the TMs and HGNs, because it learns a lot of cool things there, too. Alright, so we got Roar! Yes, that'll be pretty cool. I'm not sure this thing learns Stealth Rock. We'll get down there, and if it does, then I'll point that out. Uh, Toxic, I can see this being used as a somewhat defense is sort of stally Pokemon, I can see that happening. I uh, wouldn't really recommend doing that though, but yeah. Uh, it learns Solar Beam, seeing it being used in Sun. Uh, it learns Earthquake too, so I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. You could utilize it if you try to use a physical sort of, uh, a sort of Volcanion. I can see that being used with Flare Blitz and, you know, uh, some other moves that it learns on here that you'll see in a little bit. Um, let's see, we got here Sludge, uh, Sludge Wave, not really useful at all, because why would you need to have that? Uh, it has flamethrower for in case you don't want to be using uh, overheat or fire blast for the accuracy. Uh, it does learn fire blast cool. And it learns so sandstorm also. That's awesome. Uh, flame charge you could be using that to increase its speed. Uh, we saw that earlier in the level ups. Uh, Biden pointed out, but yes, you can use that to increase its really low speed. Uh, rest, that'll be something you can utilize with the sleep talk. I did not see this earlier, but it does learn focus blast, and I, ooh, that is, uh, each time I, I look at this thing, it gets better and better. So it gets focus blast, that's a really cool coverage move, I love that. Um, it learns Will-O-Wisp, so that means you can get 100% chances to burn this time. I mean, I would still try to utilize Skull and or the Steam Eruption, but Will-O-Wisp is something if you want consistent burns, even though Will-O-Wisp always misses because for some reason it has like 0% accuracy. But anyway, it does learn Stone Edge, so you can use that on a physical set too. It learns Gyro Ball, which is kind of weird. Uh, it, it is slow, so that can be utilized also. Bulldoze and Rock Slide, not really being used that much. I can see Rock Slide being used in double however, so that would be pretty cool to see. Uh, substitute, I can see it being a substitute attack there. Not, not that great, but he trained pretty good at it. I'm, I'm imagining that Volcanion could be good at that too. Uh, flash Cannon, not that great, and then, you know, the rest of the moves are just completely irrelevant. But yes, I am really, really excited about this Pokemon. Oh my goodness, the stats and the type and the moves that it learns are really, really great. So, like, the stats, it has lowest speed. Who cares? Like, who, who even? It doesn't even matter if you have really good defenses. That what, that's what makes Volcanion so good. Uh, it has weaknesses to somewhat common types, so you gotta watch out for.
make sure that you have really good synergy with it. I think it's like weak to electric ground and like rock or something, so you're gonna have to have like help from something like a Breloom or a Verizion, which has really good coverage on it because it can help with those defenses, um, the things that it's weak to, however. And, um,. I can see it being something really used in the metagame. I, I I cannot wait for this thing to get released. Like this is the one I'm excited for. I, I can't wait for Volcanion. This this is the one for me. Yes. Uh, I hope you guys uh, learn a lot about Volcanion. Be sure to leave a comment about what you guys think about it. Do you have any move sets? Do you have any uh, uh, any insight as to how this thing's gonna be used? In Pokemon, do you have any other information that you wish you knew about this thing or etc.? Like how you're gonna meet it, which is <clears throat> gonna be in the power plant. <clears throat> but um. Oh yeah, just a whole bunch of really cool things about this Pokemon. I'm really, really, really excited for it. And like I said, leave a comment on what you guys feel about these things, your insights, and etc. And I'll go ahead and read them and see what you guys feel about this. So this has been Ace Started There. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I had another video on Hoopa and its stats and its move pool and just chock full of information. So that's going to be right here. Click it. It's it's clickable right there. And it will be till the end of the video. So be sure to watch that if you want to find out some information about Hoopa. Hmm. So this has been Ace of the Third. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Be safe and goodbye.